Greetings, my confectionery compadres, and welcome to Randy Makes Candy, where I help you make tasty treats that people love to eat. A dear friend of mine and her boyfriend are faithful compadres. His birthday is this month, and he asked I could make, and I quote, a crunchy toffee, peanut butter, Oreo cookie, sprinkle of sea salt kind of treat, close quote. As always, my answer was, I'll see what I can do. So that's what we're doing tonight. And since her name starts with a J and his with a K, I thought I'd dub these treats JK Wagon Wheels. As always, I'd love to hear about your results if you decide to make your own JK Wagon Wheels, as well as suggestions for other recipes you'd like to see in future videos. For this recipe, I used one half cup of unsalted butter, one half cup of packed brown sugar, one half teaspoon of vanilla extract, one quarter teaspoon of salt, one half cup of creamy peanut butter, one third cup of powdered sugar, one half tablespoon of corn syrup, one half teaspoon of salt, some extra stuff Oreo thins, some sea salt, and three cups of chocolate for coating. I also used a large saucepan, a spatula, some round silicone molds, a thermometer, a silicone bowl, a cutting board, a sheet of silpat, and a couple of precision dipping tools. Okay, let's make some candy. Spray the molds with some cooking spray and wipe out the excess. Add the brown sugar and butter to a large saucepan over medium-high heat. Bring the mixture to a boil, stirring continuously. Add the thermometer and continue stirring until the mixture reaches 280 degrees Fahrenheit. Remove the saucepan from the stove and stir in the vanilla and one quarter teaspoon of salt. Place about a teaspoon of the mixture in the silicone mold and flatten it out. Repeat until the mold is filled, then leave the toffee to set. Microwave the peanut butter for 30 seconds, then add in the powdered sugar, one half teaspoon of salt and corn syrup. Mix until it's well incorporated, then set it aside. Separate the cookies, making sure to keep all of the filling on one side. We're not gonna use the bear halves for these treats, so you can save them for another recipe. This is a little tricky, as the filling has absolutely no desire to stay on one side. Scientific studies have been done to determine how to make this happen, but the filling always wins. I did find something that helps, though. Give the cookies about five seconds in the microwave. That loosens things up enough that you'll increase your chances of getting a good separation. If it doesn't work, just grab a knife, scrape the leftover filling off one side, and spread it onto the other. No one will know. The other problem you'll run into is that sometimes the cookies will break because these are thins. So just do your best to keep everything together and I'll tell you how to fix it later. Okay, back to business. Once the toffee rounds have set, remove them from the molds. Take some of the peanut butter filling and spread it on one of the cookie halves. Add a toffee round on top of the peanut butter mixture. Top the toffee round with another cream covered cookie half and gently press them together. Repeat for the rest of the cookies. Melt or temper the chocolate. 
Here's where we fix any cookies that may have been damaged in assembly. Just take a little of the melted chocolate on the back of a spoon and spread it over the cracks. It'll act like a chocolatey spackle and hold things together through the dipping process. And again, no one will know. Dip a cookie into the chocolate, allow the excess to drain, and place it on a lined cutting board. Repeat with the remaining cookies and allow them to rest on the counter until the chocolate is set. And that's it! Okay, let's have a taste. These came out bigger than I expected. Slant Mmm. I think we have a winner here, compadres. So many textures, snappy chocolate, crunchy cookie, creamy filling, crisp toffee, and the flavors, chocolatey, nutty, salty, layers of sweetness from the cookie filling and the toffee. Compadres, you really ought to try these. And Josie, thanks for the request and happy birthday. Add the thermometer and continue. <laughs> Once the toffee rounds have set, remove them from the Top the toffee round with another cream-covered cookie half. Wow, that's hard to say. 